John has Parkinson's. It's an insidious disease that attacks the parts of the brain that allow movement. In my case, I have this shovel where I start to, I start to walk too fast and I can't sort of stop myself. And uh, so I have to be very careful. Well, not to do a face plant, really. Here at the Human Movement Lab, Professor Meg Morris has spent years analysing these movement problems and trying to find a way to help. For reasons unknown, there's a lack of dopamine in the brain, and dopamine normally allows movements to be performed large and fast, and balance is affected as well. So what John has, you can see here, is a freezing of gait, and the feet are sticking to the floor. But watch what happens when we start the music. It's beautiful to watch. It is, it's so beautiful. And for a person who is shuffling and blocking and freezing, to be moving like that. So what we think music does is to bypass the defective basal ganglia to activate what's trapped inside. So the music provides an external rhythm to compensate for the defective rhythm inside the brain. Meg has been a pioneer of this therapy and it's incredible to watch. I see people who never get a break from feeling trapped by their inability to control their own body's movement until the music comes in. And the movement begins to flow and with joy, they can dance. If you can give a person with Parkinson's a joy, that's a gift. So music is hardwired to make us move.